Training camp is going real well. You know, I'm hitting all cylinders. We got a chance. Actually, I don't really do training camps per se. I just train, but I've been training hard for the past like four months. Had a chance to spar with heavyweight boxing champion Luis Ortiz, contender um, Bryant Jennings, spar with Steve Griffard, who's a I think WBO um, regional champion right now for the for the Asian title. Um, I've been spar with Dos Santos, heavyweight undefeated heavyweight Trevor Bryan. I mean, I've been busy, you know. I've been staying in shape, so uh, I'm ready for this battle. Yeah, this fight is gonna be a contested heavyweight, but you know, this isn't my first time at heavyweight. My very first fight was a heavyweight. I fought Mark Curry at heavyweight. I fought um, Travis. V oh, that was my first fight. I fought Chet Congo at heavyweight. I fought in the heavyweight tournament in Ryzen. Um, I also fought. Uh, I don't know, I fight some guy, my very first, my first fight in Bellator, I mean, Strike Force was heavyweight. So, um, you know, it's nothing new to me. I, to me, it's a fight to fight. It's all about game plan, technique, and tactics. Well, as far as the matchup between me and Satoshi, I think, um, I, think I'm, I have every advantage besides judo. Um, I've trained with him before in the past. He has a judo and a size advantage on me, but I feel like I'm better as a striker, better as a, rap, I'm a wrestler, grappling. Pretty much a toss up, you know, because I'm a wrestler, he's a judo guy, so it depends on the position, but I feel like overall I'm a better fighter than he is. The fight will go wherever I want it to go. Satoshi can, he, he likes to move around, back up, so I have to walk him down, I close the distance. I have a longer reach so I can pick him apart from outside. If he wants to get in close, he has to be worried about takedowns. I can't play the upper body clinch game with him because he can throw from there, but I can outbox him, I can take him down and ground and pound him. It's just gonna depend on what he gives me, you know. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take what he gives me and then I'm gonna beat him into giving me more. As far as being in Ireland, I'm pretty excited about it, you know. It's just, you know, I'm excited to compete and compete in front of people that like um, combat. We'll see, I know they, they love fighting. They, they're big into boxing, they're big into MMA right now. So uh, I'm hoping I can go out there and entertain. So it's gonna take me and each to go out there, put out a good show. We have uh, um, Anthony, um, pretty boy, you know, out there fighting James Gallagher. That's the co-main event, and that should be a good, a good fight too, as well as the Bama undercard. So it should be an action-packed night full of good fights. Well, with the fight with Phil Davis, <clears throat> I think I should, the third round, I kind of got lackadaisical, and he clipped me and took me down, but I came, got popped up. The first two rounds I won, he knows it. Even his corner knows it. Everyone knows it. Like, if you look at MMA media, 90% of the media had me winning, but if I can do anything different, make it a five round fight. Because in five rounds, I'm definitely, you know, he can't hang, he can't hang with that pace that I'm gonna put on him. So uh, hopefully I get a chance to get a rematch for the belt. Okay, let's, let's be real. Actually, he should be rematching me because I beat him, but hopefully we get a chance to run it back five rounds and uh, I'll, I'll, I'll stop him in five. Bell, at Bellator 170, you got Tito Ortiz versus Chell, the Westland gangster signing. I think, I think Chell's gonna be too much for him. When it, when it comes down to it, Tito, he's been around, but let's look at his track record. He's won maybe four fights, maybe four fights in the last 12 years, I believe. You know, um, always injured. Um, he can't out-wrestle Chael. His best bet would be try to submit Chael, but Chael could outbox him, Chael's quicker. Tito might be stronger, but Chael's quicker, and I feel like Chael will have more resources and more ways to win that fight. Well, when it comes down to the matchup between Matt, um, Fedor and Matt Mitrion next year, 2017, uh, that's going to be a good one. Um, Mitrion has the size. He has the athleticism as well. But Fedor is, Fedor is pretty athletic as well, but he's not as big, but he has that punch. He can grapple. It's a, to a toss-up. And with Fedor training in Russia, I don't know how much I like that. Because before, the, the vintage Fedor was training in Russia and in Holland with some good strikers, but if he could train in Russia with his uh, usual camp, like Dennis Lebedev, who was a cruiserweight champion, and some, a few others, he'll be okay. But if he's just training with guys in his camp, um, he'll, be in, he'll be in trouble. Because Matt Mitrion, he's, he's a good fighter, and he'll, he'll come, he'll be ready for the fight with Fedor. Well, the last words my up, up, up and coming fight with Satoshi Ishii is, um, y'all tune in, it's free on Spike TV. I'm gonna hand out a one-sided beat down to Satoshi Ishii and hopefully they'll be good enough to get me a title shot with Phil Davis or get me the chance to fight the winner of Fedor and um, Matt Mitrione. So I'm going out there to, it's a showcase fight. I'm going out there to impress and look, look good. And I have to, no, I have no, no other options, just to look good and impress and showcase my skills.